Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Push Square coming at you straight from, oh, I don't know, Yankeesaurus Town or something. Blimey, what a terrible intro, but as you may have guessed from the gameplay on screen, I've been playing Dino Frontier, which is this kind of Wild West meets Dinosaurs simulation game from Wayward Sky developer Uber Entertainment. So I have some thoughts about this game and I'm going to dive into them in this video review. But before I do, please like and subscribe if you're so inclined because there's tons of PlayStation VR stuff elsewhere on the channel. Alright cowboy, let's get into this. So I love the premise for Dino Frontier, I really do. Basically you play as the mayor, or mayor I guess, seeing as this is the wild west, of a new settlement. The twist in this world is that there are prehistoric creatures living alongside your gunslingers, so you need to manage your town by erecting buildings like lumber yards and saloons. Each establishment has a different purpose, like refining wood or keeping your settlers happy. The problem is that it's all maddeningly undercooked, so you can only build one of each type of building, and while you can upgrade them it kinda kills the whole city building aspect. In fact it ends up playing much more like a clicker, at the start of the game you have to manually collect, chop wood and food and stuff like that, but as you progress you recruit dinosaurs who do all of that for you, so it cuts down on busy work. Which is fine, I enjoy games where you gradually become more productive as you progress, but you reach a point where you're sort of twiddling your thumbs waiting for something to do. There's a whole gardening component, but you can only really grow two types of crops, and you don't really need to engage with it after a couple of hours to be honest, uh, and there's not a whole lot else to the game really. Uh, you can only have one type of each dinosaur at any given time, and that's all you need in truth. So. Once you've tamed them all, it's like, well, what else is there to do? To be fair, there are collectibles to find in each environment, and there's a tower defence aspect where bandits will try to raid your depository while you mine a kind of mountainous environment. I mean, this is fun because the game's presented like a diorama, and you can make smartphone-style pinch motions to zoom in and out of what's going on. But there are only 20 waves in the tower defence bit, and once you've upgraded a couple of your defences, it's pretty easy to see it through. Uh, there's a final encounter against a boss type character that I won't spoil, but that's about it. And given that the game has clearly been influenced by the likes of Theme Park and Theme Hospital, I was just expecting a much deeper city building experience going in. If I'm honest, I'd imagine that's what the developer set out to create as well. But it's just not what you're going to find here, Dino Frontier is more of a prototype than anything else, which honestly would be fine if it was priced accordingly, but it's like £30 on the European PlayStation Store without any pre-order discounts taken into account, which is just way too expensive. Having said all of that, this is a weird one because it's one of those games that I thoroughly enjoyed for the first hour, and I played through to completion and had a lot of fun with it, but it's all a bit anticlimactic, the game teases where it's going to go, only to fall into a rhythm and then just abruptly end. While it's entertaining for the 4 or so hours that you'll play it, there's no real reason to come back beyond the few collectibles I mentioned, and that's a shame. I mean, I really like everything about Dino Frontier, from the quirky artwork, to the motion controls, to the ridiculous songs that the developers written and recorded, but it feels like the basis for something much more involving, and it runs out of steam far too quickly. I do recommend that you try it at some point, but at its launch price, I'd advise thinking very carefully because there's just not enough meat on the game's bones. But let me know what you think in the comments section below, are you going to grab this one anyway? Give me a yeehaw in the comments section, remember to like and subscribe to the channel, and until next time, thanks for watching.